Good morning. I like omelets and cake, and I thought I'd share a book with you today. It's called Good Morning Neighbor, because I like Good Morning Neighbor. My name is Elizabeth Williams, and you may want to gather some of your critter friends like I did, too, and join me for this book. It's all about compassion. And I'm going to let my turtle on my mask get a better look at the pictures. I'll set him right here. He can watch. This is by Davida Kelly and Maria Deck. A mouse wanted to make an omelet. To make an omelet, the mouse needed an egg. But he didn't have one. So he thought, I'll go and ask my neighbor. The blackbird. Good morning, neighbor. Do you have an egg that I could use to make an omelet? I'm sorry, I don't, said the blackbird. But I do have flour just like this. With an egg, we can make a cake. Let's go and ask my neighbor, the Dormouse. A mouse and a blackbird wanted to make a cake. Good morning, neighbor. Do you have an egg that we could use to make a cake? I'm sorry, I don't, said the Dormouse, but I do have butter. You'll need butter to make a cake. For the egg, we can ask my neighbor, the mole. A mouse, a blackbird, and a dormouse wanted to make a cake. Good morning, neighbor. Do you have an egg we could use to make a cake? I'm sorry, I don't, said the mole. But I do have sugar. You'll definitely need sugar to make a cake. Perhaps my neighbor, the hedgehog, will loan us an egg. Here's some sugar. A mouse, a blackbird, a dormouse, and a mole wanted to make a cake. Good morning, neighbor. Do you have an egg we could use to make a cake? I'm sorry, I don't, said the hedgehog. What kind of cake do you want to make? I have apples. Maybe we can make an apple cake. My neighbor, the raccoon, might have an egg. Here's my raccoon right here. You see him? A mouse, a blackbird, a dormouse, a mole, and a hedgehog wanted to make a cake. Good morning, neighbor. Do you have an egg that we could use to make a cake? I'm sorry, I don't, said the raccoon, but I have cinnamon to add flavor. Let's go see if my neighbor, the lizard, has an egg. Here's his cinnamon. A mouse, a blackbird, a dormouse, a mole, a hedgehog, and a raccoon wanted to make a cake. Good morning, neighbor. Do you have a cake that we could use to, well, not a cake. Do you have an egg that we could use to make a cake? I'm sorry, I don't, said the lizard, but I do have raisins. For the egg, we can ask my neighbor, the bat. Here's some raisins. 
a mouse, a blackbird, a dormouse, a mole, a hedgehog, a raccoon, and a lizard wanted to make a cake. They already had flour, butter, sugar, apples, cinnamon, and raisins. The only thing missing was the egg. Of course I have an egg, said the bat. The neighbors finally had all the ingredients they needed, and so they began. Here's the egg. I'll put it in here so it doesn't crack and make a mess. The blackbird poured the flour. The bat broke the egg. The dormouse added the butter, and the mole stirred in the sugar. The mouse mixed the dough. Then the hedgehog added the apples. The raccoon sprinkled the cinnamon, and the lizard topped it with raisins. All we need now is an oven. Let's Ask our neighbor, the owl, said the lizard. A mouse, a blackbird, a dormouse, and a mole, a hedgehog, a raccoon, a lizard, and a bat wanted to make a cake. The cake was ready to be baked. All they needed was an oven. Good morning, neighbor. Could we use your oven to bake a cake? Certainly, said the owl. So all of the animals joined the owl in her kitchen. The cake finally came out of the oven and it was perfect. But when it was time to serve it, the owl asked, how many slices should I cut? The blackbird put in the flour, so she gets a slice. The dormouse put in the butter, so he gets a slice. The mole offered the sugar, so obviously she gets a slice. The hedgehog provided the apples, so he gets a slice too. A slice also goes to the raccoon for adding the cinnamon. And a slice goes to the lizard for pitching in the raisins. Lastly, a slice goes to the bat for putting in the egg. And we must not forget the owl for the use of her oven. So that makes eight slices in all. What about me? asked the mouse. You didn't put in anything, said the dormouse, so you don't get a slice. And anyway, it's hard to cut a cake into nine slices. The mouse went away sadly, while the other animals began to divide the cake. Well, said the blackbird, if the mouse hadn't asked me for an egg, I wouldn't have thought about giving him flour to make the cake. And if he hadn't asked me for an egg, I wouldn't have put in the butter, said the dormouse. And I wouldn't have offered the sugar, said the mole. And I wouldn't have pitched in the apples, said the hedgehog. hedgehog. And I wouldn't have added the cinnamon, said the raccoon. And I wouldn't have pinched in the raisin, said the lizard. And we wouldn't have a cake to share, said the bat. You're right, said the owl. And so the blackbird, the dormouse, the mole, the hedgehog, the raccoon, the lizard, the bat, and the owl cut the cake into nine slices.
which wasn't that hard after all. The end. And that's the story of Good Morning Neighbor. And it shows us how all of those critters, just like us, can be really compassionate. You have a great day and see if you can find ways to be compassionate to your friends and to others you meet along the way. Bye.